Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, but when you're a professional tennis player, you've got to be a thousand times more careful. Because one wrong move could cost you everything you've ever worked for in your entire life. From bagging the highest fine in tennis history to hitting rock bottom after an expensive divorce. These are seven mistakes that cost tennis players millions. And first, we have to start with this guy, because being the bad boy of tennis didn't just wreck his tennis career. It almost cost him a million dollars. Number 7. Nick Kyrgios If you know a thing or two about tennis, then you'd agree with me when I say that knowing how to stand out from the crowd is the first step to having a successful tennis career. And when it comes to standing out from the crowd, Nick Kyrgios sure knows his onions. Nick is not your regular tennis player. The 27-year-old Australian has one of the best unconventional techniques that you'll see on the court today. He's got more than a dozen tricks up his sleeve when it comes to confusing his opponents with trick shots. But that's not the only thing that makes him stand out. You see, the Australian has a reputation of being a bit of a bad boy. If you're wondering what it means to be a tennis bad boy, the Australian is the embodiment of the most outrageous anger issues and tantrums tennis has ever seen. Now, don't get me wrong, Nick isn't the only player who's ever thrown a tantrum on the court. I mean, if we're being real, things can get intense real quick on the court when emotions start rising, so it's not difficult to see players lose their cool a few times. But when you start spitting in the direction of fans, yelling at umpires, and even cursing at other players in every single match, then something is definitely wrong somewhere. And in just 10 years since turning pro, the Australian has single-handedly bagged the highest accumulated fines in the history of tennis. I'm talking about $800,000 in fines just for being terrible at keeping his shit together. And looking at his consistency, it wouldn't be surprising if he hits 1 million before the end of the year. Yikes! Now that's a record that no one wants to break. But Nick isn't the only tennis player that has ever made the mistake of making the bad boy thing a lifestyle. This next guy lost his entire fortune just because he couldn't stop getting into trouble with the law. And that guy is… Number 6. Roscoe Tanner Back in the 70s, only a few players could go head-to-head -head in a five-set trauma-inducing match, and Tanner was one of them. The American was not just blonde and beautiful, he was also one of the most athletic players tennis had ever seen. With a lethal serve that traveled at the speed of light, it's no surprise that Tanner was able to climb as high as number four in the rankings. But what definitely does come as a surprise was his fall from grace that didn't just ruin his reputation, it also left him dead broke. You see, after an amazing career, the American banked $1.7 million in prize money by the time he retired in 1985. But in the 2000s, the once promising tennis star lost his entire fortune to a series of bad decisions. It all started to fall apart back in 1997 when he first failed to pay child support, and that, folks, was the beginning of his downfall. In 2003, he was sentenced to 10 years in probation for bouncing a 28,000-pound check that he used to buy a 32-foot boat, and just three years later, sentenced to two years in jail for parole violation after a grand theft conviction. As we speak, Roscoe is worth only about $250,000. Now, losing over $1.4 million of hard work has got to be every tennis player's nightmare. But you know what's even more tragic? Losing $10 million due to a silly mistake. Number 5. Maria Sharapova You see, of all the sports in the world, it is safe to say that tennis has one of the strictest rules you'd ever find. One of those rules is that every player is mandated to get tested to make sure they are free from performance enhancement drugs before each tournament. And back in 2016, the tennis world was left in shock when Sharapova tested positive for meldonium. As a result, she got served with a hefty 15-month suspension. Over a year on the sidelines? That's like a never-ending match point. And those 15 months were probably the longest 15 months of Maria's career. 
because she didn't just lose millions of dollars in potential prize money, she also lost her major endorsement deals faster than a double fault. Now, estimating the exact amount she lost is as tricky as a drop shot lob, but we're talking millions of bucks here. Her Nike contract alone was reportedly worth a smashing $10 million a year. Losing that amount in less than 15 months? Ouch. But at least she still got the chance to make up for it before she finally retired in 2020. I wish we could say the same for the next player. Number 4. Goran Ivanishevich Back in 2001, Goran made history when he became the first and only player to have won a Wimbledon singles title as a wild card. And to think that he was just ranked 125th in the world at the time. Now, most successful athletes are known for how they're always looking for ways to multiply their fortune. So after hanging up his racket in 2004 with a total of $20 million in prize money, Goran decided to multiply his earnings by investing in a construction company in his hometown. Sounds like a smart thing to do, right? Well, not when you put all your eggs in one basket. Because in just one year, everything went south. Goran dropped the bombshell that he was broke and facing the dreaded B word, bankruptcy. Dude went from millionaire to broke in less than a year. Now that is traumatic. But what if I told you that the next guy's only mistake was trusting someone that he loved? And that guy is number three, Juan Martin Del Potro. You see, Juan was a combination of everything all these other players lacked. Composure, speed, hard work, charisma. He had everything. He became the only man outside the big three, Federer, Djokovic, and Nadal, to win a major title between the 2005 French Open and the 2012 US Open. Unfortunately, the 6 foot 6 inch player was forced to reconsider his career after a string of injuries. But it wasn't until 2022 that the Argentinian officially retired after accumulating $26.7 million in prize money. Now, here's where things get a little awkward. You see, Del Potro's dad was also his manager, and he trusted him so much that he put him in charge of all of his accounts and investments. But little did he know that that was going to be the biggest mistake he had ever made. Because last year, it was alleged that his father, Daniel, had stolen over 30 million US dollars from him before he died in 2021. Who would have thought that trusting your parents so much could make you lose your entire life? Definitely not Del Potro, that's for sure. You know who else didn't think his mistake would come back to hurt him? This guy. Number 2. Boris Becker Let's be real. Becker is one of those players that never needs an intro. I mean, the German became the youngest winner of the men's Wimbledon title at just 17 in 1985 a record that still stands till this very day. Over his 15-year career, he won 64 titles, including 6 Grand Slams and $166 million in career earnings. Now that's enough money to build an empire. But instead of focusing on building his fortune, he made a mistake that turned out to be the start of his downfall. You see, back in 2000, Barbara, Becker's wife, filed for a divorce after she found out that he had knocked up a waitress. And the result? Barbara got a $14.4 million compensation, their mansion in Florida, and custody of their two children. It was from this very moment that everything started to go south for Becker. First, he lost over $1.6 million after investing in a tennis channel, and then lost another $15 million after a failed investment in a Nigerian oil and gas company. And to top it all off, Becker had a very terrible spending habit despite evading over $5 million worth of taxes. By April of 2022, Becker's bank account got hit with the final blow after a London jury convicted him of four separate crimes while acquitting him of 20 other charges. Boris lost pretty much everything. Damn. Now that we're down to number one, we've got to talk about Arancha Sanchez and how one mistake didn't just leave her broke, it left her in debt. Number one, 
Arancha Sanchez. Just like Del Potro, Arancha's only mistake was trusting the two people she loved the most, her parents. In a career that spanned 20 years, Sanchez was one of the most powerful players in women's tennis. Arancha swung her way to greatness, capturing titles and racking up a fortune until her retirement in 2020. The Spaniard was former world number one in both singles and doubles, and went on to win 14 Grand Slam titles. Four in singles, six in women's doubles, and four in mixed doubles. By the time of her retirement, her career prize money stood at 13.4 pounds. But in 2012, Arancha made the startling revelation that she was struggling to pay off debts. As it turned out, her parents had been draining her of her 43 million pounds worth of fortune. That's equivalent to 56 million dollars. Her endorsement deals couldn't even protect her from the financial mess that her parents left her in. But hey, Arancha is a fighter, both on and off the court, so hopefully she'll finally find the strength to rise above the ashes. And there you have it, folks. Not everyone gets to live their dream, and in tennis, even the best players are not safe. Which player's mistake made your jaw drop the hardest? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to learn more interesting things about your favorite tennis players.